investing in the integration of climate equity and environmental justice strategies isn't just necessary for short-term relief. It is imperative for our long-term global sustainability. In concrete terms, in just the last 30 years, the 615 million richest people in the world contributed nearly half of all emissions growth. At the same time, 50% of the world's poorest people, that's 4 billion people, contributed just 6% almost nothing. So tribal nations, if you think about it, really contribute a very small proportion of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. So so what do you do? What do you do when that place, that landscape that, that identifies you as a people, that is central to your cultural identity, is swallowed up by the ocean or is dried up and burned to a crisp by wildfires in the southwest? AP's core mission is to improve the quality of life and economic well-being of people worldwide. We've got to think about moving beyond the idea of inclusion to a space where these socially, culturally and traditionally marginalised populations through our political systems, through the way that we work in climate and climate finance, the way that they can lead the work that we do, the way that they're at the forefront of the work that we do in climate change. You have to build practical solutions for this work, whether it be at a national level, a local level, to both meet client expectations, um, and of course, their expectations when it comes to sustainability, to impact and to results, and to make sure the work that we do at ACT is actually doing what we say that we do. We're gonna be providing um, a, a better future for the populations with whom we work. Nobody should have their life predetermined simply because of the zip code where they live. We need to plant seeds now so that generations yet unborn can flourish and be in good health.